Welcome to East by West farm. Here we grow what we eat and eat what we grow. Today I'm going to talk about how we prepare the lumber for the chicken coop. Welcome to East by West farm. Here we grow what we eat and eat what we grow. Today I'm going to talk about how we treat the lumber for the chicken coop and the chicken run. Over here I have six 2 by 4 by 10 feet studs and the 12 2 by 4 by 8 studs. The 10 feet ones are for the chicken coop and the, the eight feet ones are for the chicken run. These are untreated lumber. What I did is to treat one end, this will be the ground contact end of the lumber up to about three feet or so, so there will be above ground uh, with the tongue oil. Um, it's actually pretty easy. You just use a rag to rub the tongue oil on the wood. Uh, two applications, um, two coatings, uh, 12 hours apart. At the other end, I just um, coated the end. So if the just prevent any water uh, accumulating on top of the stud, um, so that it doesn't get seep under the uh, into the wood. So for the chicken coop, of course, the first uh, step is to choose a site, and uh, so we choose this area, kind of uh, uh, in the middle of the trees and then right next, not right next, but across from the driveway from the single wide. Two considerations is one is here in summer, it's pretty uh, warm. So we definitely want to have a lot of shade for the chicken. Um, and also we don't want it to be too far away from the single wide because then we can, don't need to have a, a one mile hike or long hike to get to the chicken coop. That's why we have it right over um, on, on the other side of the single wide. The second step, we cleared this area and, uh, and uh, um, use uh, auger to, to uh, drill the holes for the post. The third step is prepare the wood uh, for, the, uh, for building the chicken coop. The question is, what kind of wood uh, do we use? Uh, do, is the um, pressure-treated lumber safe for chicken coop? From uh, what I seen on YouTube, seems to be most of the people use pressure-treated lumber for chicken coop. Um, but uh, I also uh, saw some discussion that the old way of uh, uh, pressure-treated lumber has, contains uh, arsenide and that could bleach into the soil and uh, make it poisonous. The new way of uh, pressure-treated lumber uh, does not have arsenide and so it should be safe. You cannot use um, pressure-treated lumber for certified um, organic garden area. So I still have a concern even though most people use pressure-treated wood for chicken coop, uh, I still have a concern about that. So what I want to do is uh, um, to try out uh, an organic way, which is use the um, tongue oil to treat um, the wood. Uh, tongue oil is 100% uh, I have the 100% pure tongue oil, so that's completely organic. And so I'm going to use this to treat, um, to coat the untreated um, two by fours, so that to make it water repellent. I have this stud, um, they are all untreated. So I'm going to um, use just the rag and then dip that into the tongue oil and then rub the end of uh, this stud. And, and that then, um, then we can put this in the ground, in the hole, and uh, set up the chicken coop. I actually don't remember how much I spent uh, on this uh, can 
bottle of Fatan oil. I need to go back and check to see how much it costs and uh, how how many stud it can uh, coat so that uh, um, I can uh, do a calculation to see if this is a cost-effective way. Probably it will be more expensive as compared to pressure-treated lumber. If it make it um, more healthy or have less concern about the chemical, uh, that might be worth it. All right. I have all the wood lined up over here. Uh, I coated the ground contact end of the wood with the tongue oil. It didn't take a whole lot actually. I think I had maybe used the one fifth or one quarter of the bottle um, to coat all the ground end, uh, ground contact end of the lumber. Here is where we, our chicken coop is going to be. And uh, you see the post over there, that's the starting of the chicken, uh, chicken run. So uh, to, toward me is the chicken coop. The chicken coop will be six by eight inches, uh, six by eight feet. Uh, so that will give us enough room for, uh, supposedly 12 chickens, no more than that, six times eight is 48. Average is two square feet per chicken, so that will allow us for 24 chickens. We probably will not have that much. Uh, but in Texas, summer gets pretty hot, so we want to have more room for the chicken. So we probably will have roughly around 12 chicken or so. That gives us kind of double the size per chicken, um, just because it's so hot over here and uh, we want to have enough room for the chicken. So the chicken coop will be over here. You can see the, the four holes that ducked. And so the, um, it's going to have a gable like along the uh, eight feet um, diameter, uh, eight feet direction. So that will be kind of like this. So from uh, the house, you will see the uh, gable. And, uh, and then along the short side, we will have um, a, a gutter to collect the rainwater from the roof and they use that as the chicken feed. And then uh, under the roof, there will be um, a nesting box on both sides. And of course, we'll put roof on the nesting box as well. So I think it will look nice. Uh, so 
we're just preparing material um, now and uh, was probably built the chicken coop first and then my goal is to finish that probably before March. Uh, I'm not sure over here, I think usually they have the chicks available in the feed store around March, April time frame. So I definitely want to get my chicken coop and the chicken run ready before the chicks are available in the feed store. So it looks, uh, we have almost sunset and we have probably about an hour of uh, daytime. I'm going to um, take this to the barn and leave it there for a week to let the wood dry out more. And the next week I come back to start building the chicken coop. If you like this content, please hit the thumb up button. Have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. If you want to follow our journey with the East by West Farms, please hit the subscribe button.